Hi everybody. Uh, I believe we are live now. My name is Ned and I am so, so excited uh, you joined our first Facebook live session. There is already so uh, somebody who's connected. Uh, let me take a look. Hi Julie, thanks for joining. Hi, hi. Uh, you're the first person who's joined one of uh, our sessions. Thanks so much. Hi Katya. <laughs> Thanks so much for joining as well. Uh, I'm so happy to see you uh, here. Actually, uh, Katy is a friend of mine, uh, to be honest. So uh, let's get started. Uh, this is the first of uh, what I hope will be uh, many Facebook uh, live sessions. My idea is uh, to try and see how meeting live and uh, discussing uh, what we've uh, shown you in the courses would complement uh, what uh, we can discuss uh, online here on Facebook. Hi, hi everybody. I'm really excited to see that people are joining us. And now I understand why everybody who's uh, doing Facebook live sessions is uh, so overwhelmed when they see that somebody from India, Moscow, Singapore, uh, has just joined uh, their session. Okay, so. Here is the PowerPoint. As you can see, these are um, all of the courses we've created so far on Udemy. Um, and in each of our Facebook Live sessions, I'll try to address topics that have been covered in some of the courses. How would you know when is going to be our next uh, Facebook Live session? Well, make sure you subscribe. Make sure uh, you like our Facebook page and Make sure you go to our uh, Facebook site, uh, to, to our uh, own website, 365careers.com slash live session, and you will be able to uh, subscribe. Let me sh uh, just show you. If I open 365careers.com, I'll be able to go to live sessions simply clicking on live sessions and uh, you will be able to uh, leave your email here and we'll receive a notification for our next Facebook live session. Perfect. Why you need speed in Excel? Are you, are you ready? If you're fast in Excel, you will have time to focus on uh, different activities on, on the job and in addition, you will be able to finish your work before the deadline and be able to check, which is really important. Another reason is that when you are fast, you can finish your work on time and hence you will be less stressed. And stress is something which is something I hate uh, in the workplace. And I will be, will be happy to show you um, the 10 tips that would allow you to be faster in Excel. How to scroll fast. This is a relatively easy topic, right? Many of you who have taken our Excel courses, 365 careers Excel courses, and have completed at least 10% already know how to do that. Uh, how to scroll fast. Whenever you press Excel arrow keys, let's say you press the right arrow key one, um, one, one, once at a time, you will move right rightwards in the right direction. If you press the left arrow key, you will move to the left. Yes, uh, you will eventually get where you want to be. However, if you do this with uh, uh, in a combination with the control key, you will be so much faster. Now I'm gonna press control and da down arrow key. This is this is uh, something which will take me uh, to row 500. See. That's really easy. You can press control up arrow key and you go back to the first non-blank cell. I can do this uh, command in all directions. I can go to the right, to the right, pressing control and right key. And it takes me to the last non-blank cell of uh, this table. And I can also press control and left arrow key which takes me to the last non-blank cell of this table. That's um, really great as it allows you to be 
really, really fast when you move in Excel. I I'm really excited uh, we are doing these sessions live and um, look forward to organizing um, one of these sessions, maybe um, every, every week or two, depending on how, how interested you are. So how to select multiple cells. Thanks, thanks, Julie. Thanks, Ankur, for uh, the encouraging words. Uh, here's how to select multiple cells in Excel. All you have to do is um, hold the, sh the Shift key, and you will select multiple cells, right? I'm uh, pre I'm, I'm holding uh, Shift key and pressing the down arrow, which allows me to select multiple cells. However, if I do this with a combination of Control. I hold control shift and down arrow key and I'll be able to select the entire range up until the last non-blank cell. Um, I don't want to get lost. Here I am. I, I can select some, some cells pressing the shift key and using the down arrow. I am selecting these cells, but I can do it really fast uh, whenever I use the, uh, the shift control and arrow key combination. See? Easy. This is one of the best ways to be fast in Excel. And um, to ensure you're doing um, everything efficiently, you should make use of uh, Excel shortcuts as often as possible. Right, so here we have the following task. We have some data which should be uh, organized in a table. However, uh, right now it isn't and we need to use Excel shortcuts to do this uh, very quickly. Um, so I've added a few uh, tasks for us to carry out. First of all, we need to add a filter. I'm going to go to uh, the online courses cell and we'll select the first row, which will be the header of the table. I am going to um, press Control Shift and right arrow key and we'll select uh, the fastest I can, uh, the, the header of the table. Then, if I simply press the Alt key, I will activate uh, the, the, the ribbon. And this allows me to, to see these letters that we have here and use a, a shortcut in order to create a filter, to add a filter. I'm going to go for Alt, A for data, and T as in filter. Uh, although I made a mistake. <laughs> sometimes I make mistakes myself. Um, everybody does that sometimes. Um, when you have such blank cells, you have to select the entire table. Otherwise, the filter won't show you the, it, it will only show you the first row. Basically, it won't show anything uh, from this part of the table, right? So I am going to uh, select the entire table now and we'll press Alt, A, T and we'll add a filter. Then um, my, my first task is to remove all blank rows. I'm going to simply open the filter with the Alt key. If you position yourself on online courses and press the Alt key, you can filter for blanks only. See, I'm going here. I press the, sp the, the space key and we'll filter for blanks. Then I will use another shortcut. I am going to press shift and space to select the entire 12th row. Then we'll hold the shift key and we'll select uh, the few blank rows of the table. I'll make sure to, to have selected all of them. And then I'm going to press Control and minus to delete all of the um, all of the selected rows, all of the ones we filtered, the the blank rows. So Control minus, and now I I, I can unfilter. I'm going to select uh, the entire fil filtered row, and we'll press Alt AT. And see, here we have uh, all of the non-blank cells. Good. So another task we have is to remove all blank columns, right? So 
I am going to use control and space to select the first column and we'll use control and minus to delete it. I'm going to select control uh, column D. We'll use again control and space and control and minus to delete the column. Control space, control minus to delete it. Perfect. Um, right, so here we are. Um, we have a nice table. However, we need to improve its layout according to task four. Therefore, I'm going to create a nice header as we've uh, learned in, in our lessons. Uh, first, I'm going to change the color. However, I'm going to use uh, Excel shortcuts. I am not going to do this with the mouse. I'm going to press Alt H for Home menu, FC for um, well font color, and then we'll change the font color. I would like to bold this, so I'm going to press Ctrl and B. And here it is. We have uh, our table header bold in bold. Uh, let's let's add an underline. However, it's not covered, and I'm gonna need. I, I would like to do it um, a bit better, so I'm gonna use the mouse. Sorry. Yeah. Sometimes you have to do that. Okay. So to continue, let's uh, also format the total row. I'm going to use format cells because um, I would like it. Uh, I would like our total to be in color as well, and uh, that's a bit more difficult to do with shortcuts. So let's do this uh, a bit faster. Okay, so I'm gonna add this type of border. Oh, sorry. First, you have to select the color. Then I'm gonna select the type of border I would like to uh, to add here. No, no, sorry, the thinner one. Right. Okay. However, we can change the font color with uh, shortcuts. So I'm going to press Alt F C and we'll select dark blue again. Control B and it's in bold. I think our table looks nice. Although I would like um, quantity price and total to be aligned with the numbers. So I'm going to select uh, this part of the table and we'll press Alt H A R. Everything will be aligned perfectly. Right? See? Nice, much nicer. Okay, so this is how you use keyboard shortcuts to format a table, to delete rows and columns, something which you will have to do very often, very, very often in Excel. Uh, yeah, so whenever you can, you, you should start uh, using keyboard shortcuts because they are really helpful. And um, at first, it, it does seem a bit counterintuitive because, um, well, because you're used to um, using the mouse. You you have worked for many hours using the mouse, and it can be a bit intimidating that you have to remember all of these combinations. However, please make a concentrated effort to learn as much as many keyboard shortcuts as you can because it's worth it and um, you will see the results in just a couple of days, I promise. Okay, so I'm going to make this transition. Um, tip number four, pay special, pay special formulas. When do you have to, to use um, commands such as paste, paste special formats, paste special formulas, paste special values? Well, whenever you want to paste and you would like to uh, keep a specific uh, type of uh, format or uh, you would like to mm, carry out a specific operation. I'm going to show you an, an actual application of this now. Uh, let me see what uh, Julie writes for a second. I use a lot of keyboards. Yeah, yeah, Julie, definitely. Uh, in every program, using keyboard shortcuts is indispensable and I would uh, highly recommend it. So, um, let's go ahead and copy the table we have here, shall we? I'm going to select the table. I'm going to use Control and C, copying the table. 
and we'll use um, out es for paste special this is the shortcut for paste special out e and s uh, press one right, right after the other press really quickly and then um, i'm gonna use formulas f so it would have been out esf press really quickly like this out esf okay so here we have uh, pasted our table without any formatting but we've kept all of the all of the formulas that were inside well actually there was only one formula inside but no sorry yeah like this this should be here and this should be some sorry for this yeah well i'm gonna do like this <laughs> actually this is uh, a nice uh, way to show you how that uh, I, I needed the LTSF shortcut. Okay, so let's not get lost. Um, I've copied the entire table we have here without its formatting. Because Why? Because I prefer the formatting we have in the table above. What I'm going to do is I'm going to copy uh, the table above and then we'll paste its formatting only. LTS T for formats. As you can see, the little t is um, underlined here. So that's how you know this is the shortcut letter. Out E S T for formatting. I will simply press OK. And the entire table is nicely formatted as the one we have above. So that was tip number four. Let's go ahead with uh, tip number five. Well, I did uh, tips. <laughs> number four and five um, all together. Tip number four was paste special formulas and tip number five is paste special formats, right? Okay, um, tip number six, we are doing really great. I hope you're um, enjoying these tips. So we have the price and total, um, the price and total headings, which are aligned to the left. I can simply, I can, I can simply align first uh, price I'm just giving you an example how to use uh, F4. Of course, we can we can select both of them and align them to the right. However, to give you an example how F4 functions, I'm going to align price first to the right, out E H A R, and then I will go to total and press F4, and it repeats the last action we have carried out. F4 does anything you have carried out before, and it's um, does it again. So if I go here and uh, cover these cells in yellow and I go here and press F4, I'm going to cover this cell in, ye in yellow. Uh, if I select multiple cells, I can press F4 and cover them in yellow. In yellow. Right. So that's another useful tip which can save you some seconds whenever you're, you have carried out an operation you would like to repeat um, just use f4 and you can you can do that all right so uh, tip 7 is about grouping sheets grouping sheets can be useful in different situations of course there are also other ways to carry out actions on multiple sheets however it is uh, nice for you to know how grouping sheets functions so we basically have to select one sheet. We are in uh, the sheet tip seven, sheet one. I can hold the shift key and press and, and select tip seven, sheet two, which is the second sheet. And um, as you will see here, Excel will tell us that we've grouped the two sheets. And now I can easily move them around all together. This can be uh, time saving and useful whenever you have to carry out operations on multiple sheets, right? Once we've uh, done this operation, Excel removes the group uh, sign we have uh, at the top where the title of the file is. And um, this indicates, this goes to indicate that the two sheets are not grouped anymore. Therefore, to group them again and uh, move them to the left, I'm going to hold the shift key and simply 
move them together again. See? Easy. Another way to use a group, uh, group the, the grouping function of Excel is to carry out uh, the same action on um, two sheets. Whenever we want to carry out the same action on two sheets, we can simply group the two sheets and write some text. See, text and then some numbers maybe and maybe add some formatting. Yeah, well, that's probably uh, the ugliest formatting I could have thought of, but nevertheless, you can now trust me that we have the same thing in both sheets. See, if I go to a third sheet, I'm automatically interrupting the grouping uh, mode we were in, and the two sheets are independent once again. Here we are. Great. Uh, this is how grouping functions. Tip number eight. And this uh, gets very uh, interesting because this is a function I have not shown uh, in, a, in the courses. That's um, new material and I hope uh, it will be useful. Sorry, uh, I would like to answer Julie's question first. How did you ungroup the sheets again? Well, see Julie, whenever you are in um, you have grouped two sheets. All you have to do is click on a different sheet, let's say tip three, and the two sheets are ungrouped. Simple as that. Hope uh, this is clearer, right? Okay, so here we are. Tip number eight. We are doing great, guys. Uh, thanks so much for sticking by uh, to all of you. I really, really appreciate it. Uh, the convert function, that's something very interesting for me and it actually is a great uh, time saver whenever you have to work with um, international measurements. So all you have to do is type uh, equal convert and then uh, select the measure you would like to convert. In this case, uh, it will be 1.6, which is meters, the height of a person and select the unit from which you would like to convert it. In our case, it, it is meters. So I'm going to type M within brackets. The second argument will be uh, the height in feet, which we would like to obtain. So again, in parentheses, this is just how uh, the convert function works. So we have M feet. Uh, we have all three arguments, the the number, the from unit, and the to unit, the, the unit to which we are converting. I'm going to close the formula and Excel converts uh, one, 160, 1 1.6 meters to five, five, five feet, right? And I can simply, well, I can simply paste it uh, actually converts the entire column and that was really fast if i would if i were using uh, google converter or, or some other measurements some other tool that would have been that would have required so, so much time let's do the same for uh, kilograms so we would have no i'm gonna be more efficient actually because today our uh, main topic is excel speed i'm going to copy the formula and I'm simply going to press F2 and we'll change kilograms to LBM, stands for pound mass. And we'll press enter. Here we are, 112 kilograms is equal to almost 247 pounds. Oh, I'm gonna paste, excellent. And the last one, uh, temperature, the preferred temperature of these people. I'm going to copy the function and we'll change, sorry, we'll change C. Um, as, as soon as you open the formula and start typing, uh, a list of possible measures will open up. I, I knew by heart uh, these three, 
so that's why I didn't look at the list. But you can also uh, look at the list. So I, I'm sure this is going to be very useful. I'm going to write C and F here, and the temperature is converted into Fahrenheit. Awesome. Here we are. This is how convert the convert function works. Let's go ahead and see tip num number nine. Right. So we have the following dates. Range one with dates and range two. What we can do is, uh, yeah, what we can do is simply uh, calculate uh, the difference between uh, two dates using the dated if function. Dated if is a very interesting function. As you can see, nothing appears right here. We have nothing. Excel doesn't tell us this is a function, but it is a function that was introduced back in 2000. By the way, this is another function that uh, I haven't shown um, in beginner to pro in Excel, and uh, I, I hope it adds some value to you. Uh, thanks for joining our first session. Um, data diff is a function that very few people know about. It's in Excel, but it's also difficult uh, to mm, carry out. So the way it works is you first select uh, one, the first the, the first argument, yeah, then oh, sorry, the first argument, then you select the second argument, which is the difference you would like to make, and then you will have to uh, indicate uh, the the amount of the, the measurement in which you would like to calculate the difference. So in this case, it's D. Oh, see, I made a mistake, the name function. So I'm going to insert brackets again. Oh no, what is, what, go, what went wrong? Uh, oh, <laughs> this is really, Uh, yeah, these are the risk of, uh, risks of uh, live streaming, guys. You're working with a function that uh, you are not using very often, and <laughs> something like this happens. I'm receiving the name error because Excel doesn't recognize the function. Uh, yeah, well. No. See, so uh, I, I, the first time, that's that's a great learning experience also for me. Uh, the first time I received the name error, you see, because here I'm simply writing an argument that doesn't exist. But now I'm pressing Control Z and going back to what we had before a second ago. Um, when I when I type D right here, Excel recognizes the formula. If we look at the type of errors we receive. Excel recognizes the formula, and it's a uh, the the error we receive here. It's now, uh, Julie, no worries, we will get it right eventually. I'm sure we're gonna get it right. Um, the num error I receive here means that Excel struggles to make a calculation because it knows that we are calculating the difference between two dates, and it doesn't want to display a negative a negative value it knows that the difference should be positive. So if I go and substitute the first date in B4 and the second date in C4, I hope this would work, and it does. Oh, thank God. <laughs> so this is how the dative uh, function works. First, we have to insert the first range, which is the first date, the, the earlier date. Then we insert the second date, which is the later date, and we write D within brackets, which goes to tell that we want to calculate the difference in days. And we have 44. Yay. <laughs> uh, well, I, I feel so relieved now. Um, let's calculate the difference in, in months. I'm going to substitute D for M. It's 1. 
one month. And that's exact because the difference between the 25th of uh, June and the, 20, and the 12th of May is one, one month. And if I go and uh, substitute M with Y, I'm going to expect to see zero here. And, it, and we have zero. So it probably works. Let's do it for a few more cells. I'm going to write D right here so that we can make sure it works. It does. I think uh, we can be relatively certain that uh, the formula works and uh, I can relax now. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Um, so tip number 10 is to be fast in Excel, you have to fix cell references properly. And that's exactly what I didn't do here. Um, I will really appreciate it if you join our next Facebook Live session when, let me just switch. I will really appreciate it if you join our next uh, Facebook Live session when we will um, discuss fixing cell references properly. I'm really excited that um, to, today, to, today um, we got to do this. I've been wanting um, to meet you and uh, to interact with our Udemy students for a lot of time now. And um, hope these meetings will, be, uh, will become a regular event every week or two. That, that will be amazing. So um, I'm here for you. I would like to answer any questions you might have. Um, feel free to comment. And yeah, thank you so much for um, joining today's session. Any, any questions, anyone? Uh, so I said earlier that uh, you can join the, you can, you can easily learn when is going to be the next uh, Facebook live session by opening our website 365careers.com, um, clicking, on, clicking on live sessions and simply uh, checking out the date of the next session and the title. If you want to receive, uh, if you'd like to receive an email notification for upcoming sessions, you can simply add your email to our list here and I'll make sure that we send you an email um, well ahead of time. And uh, yeah, so you'll be able to join the same way that you did today. Thanks, William. Thanks. Thanks so much. Okay, guys. So uh, if anyone has any questions, um, I will wait um, a few more seconds for you to uh, ask them, um, but also feel free to reach out um, in, on Udemy in Q&A or uh, yeah, direct message me. No, no worries. Um, yeah. Thanks. Thanks for joining today. Um, you too. Enjoy, enjoy the, the rest of the day. It's evening here. Um, I, I decided to organize this session uh, in evening time because uh, as many people as possible will be able to join around uh, the world. Yeah, thanks, thanks so much uh, to everyone um, and see you in uh, our next Facebook Live session. Thanks so much. Bye for now.